So, as the title suggests, this is a quick video about the differences between a raster or bitmap image and a vector image. There are a lot of videos that are already out there explaining the same thing, but the five or six that I looked at, they actually use quite a lot of technical terms that if you don't actually know about imaging, you probably wouldn't understand and then the whole video wouldn't make much sense. So I decided to make a video that was really, really basic layman's terms and then once you've got that in your head and you have that understanding, you could then go on to one of these other um, more descriptive videos and learn all the technical references from those. So from this point on, I'm just going to refer to the bitmap as a bitmap and not as a raster because they are pretty much exactly the same. So, the main differences between a bitmap and a vector. A bitmap is an image that is made up of dots. The higher the resolution, the more dots per inch that make up that image. So what do we mean? Okay, so when we talk about the number of dots that make up the image, done that wrong again right that's per inch um, what, what am I going to say then right I'm just going to keep going so with regards to the bitmaps you can pretty much use any image software to open up a bitmap and view it. Um, there are, there are a, quite a lot of uh, pieces of software that you can actually change the bitmap itself by drawing over it and such like. Just like Microsoft Paint which you'll find on any Windows uh, operating system. Um, but when you do this you can only manipulate each dot individually unless all of the link dots next to it are exactly the same color and then you can change blocks of color at a time. What we can see here where we're looking at the JPEG bitmap, uh, the BMP, PNG, etc. These are the most common file formats or file extensions for bitmap images but technically they're pretty much all the same. They're still an image that are made up of different colored dots to make up the photograph. Um, any picture you take with your mobile phone, with a tablet, with a digital camera, um, if you take a photograph and scan it in onto a PC with a, with a high resolution scanner, it will save it in a bitmap format. Whereas when we look at a vector file, a vector file basically is a line drawing and you have to have specific software that will allow you to manipulate or edit a vector file and the main the main formats or file extensions that we see here is AI this is Adobe Illustrator we've got the CDR for Corel Draw so on scale vector graphics um, encapsulated postscript now the software for this can be very expensive, especially Adobe Illustrator. You basically have to pay a subscription every year now to access most of the Adobe uh, suite of products. Corel Draw is a retail, so you can buy Corel Draw as a one-off. But there are a few free um, vector editors. Uh, Insc Inkscape is one of the main ones, and there are quite a lot of others, but a lot of them they allow you to install and use them as a free trial, but after a certain period, normally a week, they will lock a load of functions and actually make you have to purchase the full version. But if you go online and do a search, you will find free applications. Okay, so we've discussed basically the difference, but now I'm going to sort of show you the difference. So we can see three circles here. The yellow circle is actually a vector and the two other circles, the black circles, they are bitmaps. Now I'm going to change the color of the vector with a single click I can change that. 
because the vector is just a line drawing. So effectively, if I take away the fill color and put in an outline, that's all it is. It's just a line of a circle. So we can change that line color or we can change the fill color in one click. Whereas if you look at the two circles here, the bitmaps, you can see that they're made up of squares, small squares or dots. And obviously you can see how finer, how much finer the edge of this circle is here compared to this circle here. That is because the circle on the right is made up of more dots per inch, so it looks a lot finer. And this means it is what we call a higher resolution. Now, when we talk about resolution, effectively what we're saying is, if you look at an object and you're close up and you can't make out what it is, as you pull away from it, the faster you can resolve that and understand and see what it's actually illustrating, the higher its resolution. Now, a better example would be a picture of this, this electronic tiger. Now, when we look at it here from this range, it looks pretty much the same on both sides of that yellow line. But what I've actually done is I've got a high resolution on one side and a lower resolution on the other. So if we zoom right in to the yellow line, suddenly you can see now to the left of the yellow line, it's a much finer graphic compared to the right of the line where it's highly pixelated and a lot more difficult to actually see what the image is. Even on the left hand side we still can't quite see but as I zoom out the left hand side starts to resolve a lot quicker than the right hand side and that's because it has a higher resolution. So as we zoom further out you can see the whole picture. So from this distance if you were to print that, it would look pretty much the same on each side. However, if you wanted a very, very large graphic that was going to go on the side of a building, for example, or the side of a lorry or a van, the bigger you make it, the more pixelated it becomes, depending on how high the resolution is or how many dots per inch. Whereas with a vector graphic, when we stretch a vector graphic, it doesn't matter because it's still only a line and the line will increase in size both in width and in height proportionally as we increase the size of it. Whereas with a bitmap when you stretch it all that happens is is those dots just get bigger till in the end when it's so big you can start to see individually all the blocks that make up the picture. So the other things that I wanted to show here were just some examples of the difference between the resolution of different um, resolution bitmaps and the vector itself. So we can see these four logos of a very well-known um, High Street Burger franchise. And you can see just from here, I can actually see on my screen, I can start to see slight pixelation around this one on the left. Now, if I go in a little bit further, now hopefully you can start to see quite obviously the pixelation around the edge of this left hand image. Okay, and as we just zoom in a little bit more, so now for example in this registered trademark logo you can see a lot of pixelation and you can see pixelation on the curve of this blue arc or circle. Whereas if I move over here, because this is high resolution, or more dots per inch, you don't quite see it breaking up as badly. And if we move over further, this is now a vector where all of the lines, no matter how much we zoom in, it stays a line. It doesn't lose any resolution. And we can zoom right in and it doesn't lose resolution. You can see clearly that's a defined line and it's not made up of dots. And because of this, with a vector, we can make a vector as small as we like or as large as we like without losing any resolution and effectively this line drawing of that logo is exactly the same as this second logo except it's got no color and you can see all it is is just lines 
and if you just look here you can just see this dot over here that's actually one millimeter wide and when you zoom in you can actually see it's just as clear as the much larger one because it's a vector and everything scales exactly in ratio to everything else and as I zoom out and you start to see the other logos I'll keep zooming out and you can see we've got a much larger logo here and again no loss of resolution so effectively that's the difference between a bitmap which is made up of dots per inch and a vector file which is made up of lines